Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Sarah and I spent last week in Sierra Leone learning about the healthcare system there, and along the way we visited Kisi Psychiatric Hospital, a 199-year-old facility that is the only mental health hospital in the country. This was of some personal interest to me, because I have been, at one level or another, a psychiatric patient for most of my life. The hospital is led by Dr. Abdul Jallo, one of the only psychiatrists in Sierra Leone, a nation of over 7 million people. He explained that as recently as a year ago, life in the hospital was extremely dire for both staff and patients. No medication, no water supply, no electricity, the toilets were, were non-functional, almost everything was, uh, was uh, in a state of collapse. Dr. Jallo keeps a picture in his office to remind him of what the hospital looked like recently. It was truly horrific. Perhaps most disturbingly, many patients were chained to their beds for much of the day and night. As we walked around, a staff member showed me a poster about chaining that had been sent to the hospital years ago. The poster was really frustrating to the staff because everyone wanted to end chaining, but without medication or any functioning infrastructure, they couldn't find another way to keep aggressive patients from harming themselves or others. They didn't need posters, they needed support. The staff walked me through one ward where the tile had been broken up to prepare for renovations, but otherwise it looked as it had for decades. We visited what was until recently the hospital's pharmacy, and I was told that these shelves had long been nearly empty. I mean, imagine it. No water for showers or to flush toilets, no medication to treat the immensity of psychic pain, very few clinicians to offer cognitive therapy and no electricity. There were generators, two huge ones donated years ago by a charity, but they turned out to be much too powerful for the hospital's electrical grid and shorted everything out. Had the charity asked, the staff would have explained what kind of generator they needed. But no one asked. At least not until Partners in Health began working with Sierra Leone's Ministry of Health, along with Dr. Jallo, his staff, and the patient population to improve the hospital. They brought in the right generator, and now the hospital's wards have lights and functioning fans. They also worked to increase staffing at the hospital and brought medications in, hundreds of medications actually, stored in a climate-controlled room. The beds and mattresses were replaced and running water was restored so that toilets and sinks and showers would work again. And because medications and other treatments are now available, many patients have been able to move out of the hospital and live at home. As one nurse explained to me, We have patients that are now working in offices, some are doing their businesses, and also doing well with their daily activities. Just a year ago, almost everyone who received care from Kissy stayed at the hospital. Now, most of their patients are able to live at home. And critically, the practice of chaining has ended. Patients now walk freely about their care area, and when patients do become a threat to themselves or others, humane restraints are used. But even that is now rare. Several patients took the time to talk with me, and one long-term patient spoke of how life has changed at Kissy in the past two years. We enjoy the lights, we enjoy good. the fun, we enjoy the television. Oh, good. We enjoy our new best. Hey. Hey. Of course, no one wants to be a patient at a psychiatric hospital. Chronic mental illness is extremely difficult to live with, even in the best of circumstances. And there's still a long way to go at Kissy. more areas to be renovated and opened, including this room, which will become a lecture hall to train the next generation of Sierra Leonean clinicians, and a soon-to-be-opened ward that will serve as the country's first dedicated drug addiction rehabilitation center. And as Sierra Leoneans begin to trust that the mental health care system can offer effective treatment, the demand for services will continue to rise, which will lead to new challenges. But the transformation so far is truly profound, and it has immeasurably improved the lives of the patient population here. I feel a kinship with them because I owe my life to effective mental health treatment. 
the kind of treatment that these patients are at last beginning to receive. We saw again and again in Sierra Leone that individual interventions, a poster campaign, a donated generator, often fail to be transformative in part because it's not one thing or another that needs to change. It's the system. The problem isn't infrastructure or chaining or staffing or medicines or running water or electricity. All of this must change together. Isolated investments often yield isolated results, but if you invest in systems, you can get systemic results. And by investment, I don't just mean money. I also mean investing the time and attention to listen carefully rather than just barging in with preconceived solutions. That's what our community has learned from working with Partners in Health for the last decade. PIH is successful because it builds systems and because it listens to the people it seeks to serve. It's no coincidence that 96% of PIH Sierra Leone's employees are Sierra Leonean. In the coming months and years, Hank and I will be focusing more on providing ongoing, long-term support to strengthen the healthcare system in Sierra Leone, and that will be the biggest project we've ever undertaken on this channel by far, which is intimidating, but the need is immediate and it is critical. And when I look at what the staff and patients at Kissy Psychiatric Hospital have accomplished in the last two years, I know that real change is possible. We'll be talking much more about this in the coming months, but in the meantime, I really hope you'll sign up for our new newsletter about the Sierra Leone Project to learn more. There is a link in the doobly-doo below. I will also be in comments to answer your questions. Lastly, a huge thanks to everyone at PIH and Kissy Psychiatric Hospital for sharing their time, experiences, and expertise with us. Hank, I will see you on Friday.